So they've invited me here to BMW headquarters. Today was just jam-packed with so much history and knowledge. <laughs> Man, my head is spinning. These guys were heroes. Wait, so you said for the production day? Let's take a look. Yeah. I'm in a hotel in Munich, Germany, and I'm about to tell you a story that starts two months ago. Two months ago, I get a phone call from BMW Motorcycles that asks if I want to fly to Germany and ride a top secret motorcycle. That top secret motorcycle was the R18 concept. So I was the first to be able to get to ride this motorcycle. Fast forward to 48 hours. Where are we at? We're back in Munich, Germany. They told us that we're going to be going places like Los Angeles, Amsterdam, Milan, all over the world. We're going to be telling a story about the R18 coming to production. This is a pretty awesome experience. And you're probably asking yourself, cool, who are you to tell us about this? Well, my name's Tommy and I own a shop called Butterscotch in Long Beach, California. I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not a blogger, I'm not a vlogger. I have no experience in this whatsoever. I have you, a camera guy, in my face, and it's the most uncomfortable experience ever. When somebody asks, hey, do you wanna come work with us? And us is one of the biggest motorcycle manufacturers in the world. Hell yeah, I'm gonna say yes. But at the same time, I'm gonna do it on my rules. I'm gonna be authentic to who I am, and here we are, about to take a really cool adventure and get to see the ins and outs and the behind the curtain of what it takes to build kick-ass motorcycle. Let's go for a ride. I just got back to the room after day one and man, my head is spinning. Today was just jam-packed with so much history and knowledge. BMW picked me up from the hotel. We went straight to BMW Motorcycle Headquarters and that's where basically my mind just exploded. So like I mentioned, we're in Munich, Germany, which is pretty awesome, uh, here at the headquarters of BMW. Uh, we're going to be meeting with Fred and Eddie, Eddie who is the head of design, uh, we're going to be meeting with later on today. And then Fred who is the BMW historian. Um, these are two really, really big dudes in this industry. So they've invited me here to BMW headquarters which is called the Four Cylinder Building. Uh, it's a pretty cool campus to say the least. Fred, I feel like we're in a pretty important place in the treasury. Uh, I feel like you're a pretty important guy. So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm the head of the BMW Group Archive. The BMW Museum is just packed full of super rare bikes and just a ton of knowledge. Fred kind of walked me through a lot of the inspiration in the beginnings of what BMW is. So this looks like it's a plane engine? Yeah, it's an airplane engine. Okay. We start with airplane engines and this is a high altitude record breaker. What's considered high altitude at this time? That's around 10,000 meter, 33,000 feet. Okay, that's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> and we can now we go to the second product of okay. our line, the first BMW motorcycle. Okay, now we're talking. Yeah, uh, perhaps the link to the aircraft engine, the same people built the engine, the same guy designed the first aircraft engine really? and this motorcycle. What's the story with the R? What does that stand for? Oh, the R is the, yeah, the German word for frame is uh, Rahmen. And oh. the, the, the first letter is R. So that's the reason for that. But we can have a closer look can to the we? bike. Yeah. yeah. So here we are. Wow. R32, the very first BMW bike. What do you think? <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Let's take one more look at this beautiful bike. Fred, what's, what's your favorite thing about this bike? Yeah, the whole bike. The whole bike? I can <laughs> yeah. agree with that. I'm seeing a lot of pieces on this bike that have cues to the R18. 
Yeah, of course. You have the, the boxer engine, you have the, the color, you have the shaft drive. Yeah. And I think more or less you have the philosophy. That sure. We had. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Yeah, yeah I love that. I love and that thing. So where are we going to next? You mentioned the R18. Yeah. So we have one bike in our history. The link is very close. You want to see it? Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, go. Check that out. So what is this? What are we looking at right now? That's an R5. Wow, okay. So it's from 1936. Okay. And it's, yeah, perhaps you know the shape of the fuel tank. Just a little bit, it looks familiar, yeah. Fred, what would you say your favorite bike is? No, it's difficult to say. You so I'm a father, I have two children. Sure. And if you ask me what's your favorite <laughs> children, I think they're R5. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd take an R5 in yeah. my garage, no problem. I'm assuming you've seen the R18 concept. What are your thoughts on that bike? I'm involved in the, in the project of the R18. So. Sure. Um, I've seen the concept, but I've also seen um, the white sheet of paper mm -hmm. when they start. Sure. And then we found out that it's always go back to the R5, to one bike. So has it been really fun watching this project come to life? Yes, of course. You know, I'm a historian. I always look back in the rear mirror yeah. and then I put all everything from the past and present it to people and they build something new. That's fantastic for me. Yeah. Can we talk a little bit more about the specifics of this bike? Yes, we can. But I think not here. We should go to another place. Is it like a top secret place? Yeah, top secret. All right, let's go. Come on. Having important friends is cool. Fred, where are we at right now? Oh, it's the oldest factory hall of BMW ever. And it's the home of BMW Classic. Hi, right, Tommy. Hi, Fred. So how was your time with Fred? Did he explain you, show you around? Lots of knowledge. Good, Lots perfect. Yep. So, so you're you ready for more then? Yeah. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> wow. This is some of the sacred holes here. And I think Fred arranged some of the bikes, some of the really interesting bikes here. This one is, uh, was uh, written by Schorsch Meyer. Really? That's pretty cool, eh? These guys were heroes. Really, it's a really beautiful bike, yeah. We're back here, we're looking at the R5. Uh, really iconic things, you know, what, what more can you probably tell me about this bike that makes this bike so important for the R18 production? Uh, we, we just talked about this little, uh, or this, what we said is the essence of the BMW bike, these like, icons, what we uh, used to say. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ask Fred, did you, did you pay <laughs> attention, Fred? Did you learn your five icons? Can you still repeat? I hope. Okay, we start with number one. It's the triangle shape tubular frame okay then we have this very specific form of the fuel tanks in sure. the early bikes then of course we have the black color with the white double pin striping there we go and of course we have the boxer engine yeah with the shaft drive to the rear wheel you guys keep putting a lot of emphasis on the shaft drive and i know when we did the R18 concept, a lot of the viewers and people that saw that concept really freaked out about the shaft drive. It's about the heart of the motorbike. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the engine is the core of a motorbike and the flat twin is very, very distinctive anyway. Yeah. And it always comes with the shaft drive because the semantics is very obvious. I mean, here you see the pistons right, right. and you see the energy going to the rear wheel and then basically driving the rear yeah, wheel. Which I love. It's like you see the cause and the effect of the, the energy coming from the motor going directly to the drive. Exactly. And so from this point of view, we are very, very happy that our engineers and the designers, they achieved to really make an open, an open visible shaft drive yeah. on, on the production bike. Wait, so you said for the production bike. Come here, guys. Let's hit, listen up. Okay, so what did you just say? So what did I just say? I think I just confirmed that we're going to have an open shaft drive on the production bike. Which, and we are very proud on it. That's, that's huge. I think I'm going to, I mean, I'm personally excited and I know a lot of guys were excited, but they said it was not going to happen. So I'm really excited to hear what people are going to say with you confirming this news. Yes, I will. I'm, I'm confirming actually it will happen. We are very proud. We achieved engineers, designers worked hard together and we really going to have an open shaft drive on the bike. So I'm really excited about the news that Eddie just confirmed regarding the open shaft drive. Leave your comments below and let us know what you guys think. And leave it a thumbs up if you like it. Edgar invited us out to Pure and Crafted, which is a really great festival. 
I think something really fun and cool is going to be dropping there. So stay tuned to find out. So I finally have the day off and I decided to go for a ride, much like I would do at home in California. Here I am now. Things have worked out pretty well, it feels like. It's a crazy ride how I got here though, that's for sure. Uh, and definitely feel pretty grateful and fortunate for what has happened. Sometimes you just need to get on the bike, fill the tank of gas, and just go.